on everyone so guys today man we got another electronic video for you guys in this video guys it's going to be woohoo laptop so in this particular instance we got a laptop it's not this particular dell laptop but it's my niece dell laptop the screen is cracked and she can't utilize her laptop and you know my niece She's actually got her own business, guys. So she does a lot of her own business from her laptop. Uh, she's got an online business, um, you know, which is incredible. So it's highly important that she gets her device up and working, you know, for her business. Me being the IT expert, you know, I was like, okay, I got you, you know. So I um, scout online for some parts, computer parts, because that's typically where I buy my computer hardware is I like to scout online for the best deals you can get the parts for very cheap uh much more affordable than trying to go through the main factor which of course they're going to always have their market prices but uh we're about to get to this repair so i just wanted to pretty much kind of introduce you guys to the new videos that are coming um don't forget guys to like comment and subscribe to my channel guys i definitely appreciate it man i definitely appreciate the love i definitely appreciate the support and i'm telling you guys i got a lot of videos coming guys a lot all that takes time guys it takes time to upload a video um you know some people that know me you know i'm a i'm a full-time dad and i work full-time too so uh <laughs> time is hard to find man i tell you that but um you know i got i got a lot of content coming out there for you guys so you know it's gonna take some time but man we're gonna we're gonna crunch through it man we're gonna crunch through it all right so we got my niece laptop here uh it's a dell laptop um my nephews they were playing with it they cracked the screen the screen is just absolutely damaged so now I just plugged up the power. You're gonna press the power button. So we identified that laptop gets power. And there you go. The screen is just damaged. Uh-oh, that's not a good sound. Let's press F1. Not getting anything. Let's press F2. Uh, it goes straight to the boot menu. Um, and I can tell that that that's the BIOS. So I'm gonna just press F10 to exit. Uh, press enter, accept. And let's try to do a, another reboot, see what happens. See, it could put, be a potential issue with this hard disk. Yeah, so that's another thing that we have to look at. So after we replace the screen, we're gonna actually see what this thing is coming up with. Hopefully it's just, you know, corrupted operating system and that way I could just reload the operating system, just throw on Windows 10. Uh, but if it's a bad disk, you know, hard drive disk, you gotta replace it. So first thing first, just turn the power off. Disconnect the power. Disconnect the battery. Let's go ahead and flip her over. Now this screen this outer lip it just pretty much peels apart now this is already broken so you know it's easy for me to just pop it pop it off kind of go around just pop everything off there and we just got some screws on here we got a screw here on each side let's go ahead and zoom in for you guys so we got a screw here we got a screw here. All right, guys, so I got the used replacement screen. Uh, this is from eBay. Uh, the seller stated it's in working condition. Uh, it comes with everything from uh, the black bezel uh, around it. First thing first, we need to take these screws off of the bottom. Um, so we got what is it? One, two, three, four. Right. So we got five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12. And we gotta take this plate off too, because sometimes there's screws underneath here. So there's one hidden right here at 13. Look on the back, see if you see any screws. If you see some screws, unscrew them. Uh, but before you do, look at them to see if it says actual which screws is for which. Got all the screws from underneath here. They're all off. Um, so now we're going to try to pry this case open. I'm just trying to find a decent spot to do it. These laptop things, they're not usually this hard to get off. There we go. Okay, I can see why. This section right here is just... just doesn't want to come up. Now. So now, what I'm going to do is go for the screws on the outer side of this screen also on this side as well let's see if we can slowly start breaking this screen apart So now we got the camera. So just, just pull, peel it off the tape. It's attached by this little sticky thing there. And we're gonna finish detaching this screen. that pretty much goes all the way around here. And it goes through the actual case. But we're gonna leave that as it is. We're gonna uh, continue to uh, pretty much remove this keyboard. We're gonna lift it up. There is a um, another ribbon for the keyboard. We're gonna disconnect that and then we're gonna proceed to the next step. You know, with age and, you know, over time you got stuff that might spill on it, you know, juice and whatnot. Coffee, coffee definitely will make it hard to get off. So now we got some resistance going on here. Oh, I see something. We got a stubborn screw. That's still holding on. So, oh yeah, that screw is definitely holding on. Try to break the screw loose. Uh, now I feel the keyboard loosening up. And there we go, we got that screw loose. So now, it's looser than what it was before, but now I'm still feeling some resistance in this area here. So I'm going to look to see what's going on. Oh, this is where the CD player is. CD player, DVD player. It pretty much just pulls out its replaceable part. There's three screws here. I'm just going to 
release these screws. This first one at least. And now our keyboard separated. And I still got all the ribbons and everything still attached. That's fine. This ribbon here, that's your keyboard. This ribbon here, that's your mouse pad. Mouse pad, keyboard. Um, now we have our laptop motherboard. Uh, just do a quick inspection. Everything looks good. You can definitely tell that you know, some type of drink or something that in between here kind of held it down, but you got it loose. This area here is for your keyboard. This area here is for your mouse pad ribbon. To, uh, CPU fan on the other side is going to be CPU. You can tell by these brackets, this is your CPU uh, heat sink, which is underneath, and then you got your CPU that's actually attached to the motherboard. Hard drive is right here. You can definitely tell that. This right here is called the battery for uh, the BIOS. Let's go ahead and move on. So we got our screen. We're just going to We're gonna remove these the four screws, and this will allow us to remove this latch, the previous latch. This is basically our donor screen. It's already got the latch still attached. This is our ribbon. This cable right here is our ribbon for our screen. Let's go ahead and pop this thing. And we're gonna remove the ground cable. I'm going to temporarily disconnect our wireless. We use this tool here. Just pop it up. There we go. Just remember the order: white, black, white, black. That's it. And what I'm going to basically do is I'm just going to reuse this screen, this back plate. That's what I'm going to do. Instead of the blue one, I'm going to stick with the pink one. So we're gonna go ahead and take our donor screen, take it apart and attach the pink screen to it. So I got the screen removed. Now I just need to release the ribbon for the actual camera. It's just held on by that tape. All right, now is the perfect time to take our microfiber cloth Give that screen a nice wiping. So now we're gonna reinstall the camera. And I got gloves on, so I'm not gonna get any fingerprints on the screen. It just sits in the pocket. Push it down. got tape here that the tape really holds it down you might have to hold it down for a couple of seconds so that way you can kind of rub it so that way the tape can kind of catch it and then flip it around grab that cable from underneath move that down pop everything back on. Once we actually put the bezel on, the, the case, it's gonna hold that thing down. So now we're gonna put our screws back on. Just be caution to not damage your screen. I'm trying to feed this ribbon 
for the Wi-Fi. Trying to feed it through. It's actually got some slots here where it should be placed. So I'm gonna feed this cable in here to there. Take our bracket, put the bracket over, screw it down. Put the other screw down and do the other side and you'll be good to go this ribbon uh, for the wi-fi it's uh tedious it's very tedious to get it installed it's like you've got to loop it through here then loop it through there and then loop it through there to go out to the back of there take a picture if you got this type of uh laptop take a picture of the way how that ribbon is, is ran. This is the Wi-Fi ribbon. So you might want to take a picture before you disassemble it. So that way you can see exactly how it's supposed to be ran. Or else when you move your monitor screen, you might end up pulling you know, that ribbon out. So just make note of that. Got this bezel on. Everything is nice and tight. So, there we go. So this is something extra that I'm doing. Move the eight. There's eight screws that hold down this motherboard. You can pretty much see where the screw starts off with. It starts with B1, B2, B3, B4. Then it works its, work its way to B8. Um, there are also some screws that are holding down this fan, and you basically just remove that. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can remove this cable here. Cable. Or computer here. Off cam, I replaced the hard drive. This is the original hard drive that comes with this laptop. Reason why I did that is because even with the bad screen, it wouldn't boot. You know, it went to the BIOS, so it just wouldn't go past it. So, you know, I could just try reinstall Windows operating system because the operating system could have just been corrupted. But just due to the fact that this laptop, you gotta go through so much just to get to the hard drive. You know, it's not one of those laptops where you can access the hard drive from underneath the back cover. So pretty much got to disassemble the laptop so you know while you're here just take care of it another thing is if you kind of just do like that I can hear the hard disk so you know if you hear that it's loose more than likely she's on her way out so all right guys I am short on time because I'm about to run out of battery on my phone basically uh, you want to reinstall your Wi-Fi cables Again, it goes white, black, white, black. You want to do your uh, monitor cable, which pretty much attaches to here, and then your ground cable, which goes here. So hopefully you guys understand that process. And then your keyboard basically mounts here. You put your uh, two screws, one, two, one, two, here, and slap the keyboard tray Put your keyboard uh, ribbon here and then a mouse pad here and bam good to go then of course you put your screws back on and power up and see where she's at so i'm gonna do that real quick and i'll be back with you guys as a tip to kind of explain to you guys how to get these ribbons back together you got your ribbon for your power button uh which power buttons here you got your ribbon for your mouse pad and you got your ribbon for your keyboard this keyboard if you you know take like a little small flathead you can pretty much pry this bad boy off uh, it's pretty much mounted inside here take this and it's pretty much like that and you got your tabs here you got one one here one where's that other sucker at it's one here and there's another one here it's kind of hard to see 
but you pretty much take it and pry it and it'll pop this keyboard up. Um, it's pretty much these little indentures. It allows you to pretty much pull this keyboard apart. Um, and that's pretty much what I did and we got it to work. By doing so, we're able to reinstall our ribbons. Um, so this is your power switch, uh, the power button. Uh, this is for your mouse pad, in which it's hard to actually get this bad boy installed. It's hard to get all these ribbons installed when you're trying to install it from underneath here. But if you put everything back on, remove the keyboard, you can you can get it done. Um, so I just gotta reinstall that uh, and this is for your keyboard once you do that put that everything back good to go laptop screen is replaced keyboard is back on everything is attached that is that we are done we're gonna get this windows 10 every system installed set 94 percent and we'll be good to go